Hi, this is Travis Saban from Adobe Analytics Product Management. And today I'm going to show you in this video some of the additional functionality that exists in our new flow visualization for analysis workspace. So here I have my flow already built uh, with home as my focus point. And currently if I want to explore each of these nodes, I need to click on them individually to get them to expand. One of the great things we've built in though is if I right click over a node in a particular column, I have the option to expand the entire column. And so if I click on that, it will expand each of the nodes automatically. Um, and so I don't have to go through and do each one individually. If I want to, to collapse these, I go to the newly expanded column. I right click on it and I can click collapse entire column and it will go away entirely. And so that could be a quick time saver just allow me to really quickly see where people are going and what movement is happening after this top, these top five results. Another great thing that I can do is if I've found an, um, a new uh, point that I want to focus on uh, from my analysis and I want to make that the focal point of my flow, I can right click on that node and click focus on this node and I'll get a new visualization with entertainment now as the new given uh, focal point designated by the, the asterisk here for my node and I can start going and exploring and identifying insights uh, from this particular point now moving forward. And if I've gone to, gotten to a certain point and I just want to start over, I now have the option to right click anywhere on the, on the flow and I can click start over. I can also do this in um, the zero state above. And so now that I have um, my new state, I'm going to start over again with home. And let's say that I wanted to um, do some analysis on um, let's say creating a video from people who have seen the judge fights and so I go on and I click on create segment and it'll pop up the new segment builder with all of the appropriate uh, definitions already pre-built. All I need to do is give it a title and a description and save it and away I go and I can use that segment throughout Anal analysis workspace and some of the other reports and visualizations. And if I want to uh, go through and let's say I wanted to find out some trends over time, let's say I wanted to know my politics, I can right click on politics and I can get a trend line returned um, with occurrences over the last 30 days um, with uh, an anomaly detection confidence interval so I can see if there's been any anomalies as well. But if I want to go beyond just doing a trend line breakdown, I can also right click and I can do breakdown by whatever metric or dimension I'm interested in. Let's say I want to know revenues per order. And so I'll click on revenue per order. And now I'll get this new freeform table with the segment created and the numbers of revenue per order that are attributed to that segment. $33.82 is the average. And so I can do breakdowns um, by any number of things um, that I've gone ahead and created um, from the segments that I've identified. So these are just some of the additional uh, functionality that is built in and exists with the new flow visualization. We hope that they help you create and identify insights for your business uh, to help you move your business forward. Thank you.